Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that made headlines at the end of last week, which was that um, the USDA approves world's first vaccine for honeybees. Uh, this is Axios. Here's the Smithsonian. The world's first vaccine for honeybees is here. <laughs> and um, the Guardian, pretty much the same thing. So let's take a look at this here. Here's the Axios article. Um, they say that the Department of Ag Agriculture has granted a conditional license. Now, this ar article doesn't say what that is. Um, the Guardian article implies that, because this is the only thing they say, it uh, will initially be available to commercial um, bookkeepers, which is the condition, but the Smithsonian article lays it out, and they say, under a conditional license from the USDA, DALAN, D-A-L-A-N, Animal Health uh, now plans to distribute limited amounts of the vaccine to commercial beekeepers. From there, they hope to offer it for sale throughout the U.S. sometime this year. But right now, it's just going out to um, commercial beekeepers. And uh, what Delon is uh, hoping to do, it's... Um, it's an effort to stop the spread of American fowl brood, F-O-U-L-B-R-O-O-D disease, um, which can dis weaken and destroy hives. It says the U.S. and other countries have seen declines in bee colonies, which play a vital role in agricultural agriculture. Uh, it says one third of the global food supply relies on pollination, and healthy commercial hives are essential to secure high crop yields. Um, however, honeybees are plagued with American fowl brood, which previously <laughs> no safe and sustainable solution for, the, for disease prevention. Overt clinical cases of America fowl brood are um, notifiable in the U.S. and Canada, and the only treatment method relies on incineration of the bees and infected hives and equipment. The vaccine contains um, killed whole cell um, bacteria, which gets mixed into the queen's food, and then it gets consumed by the worker bees, and then um, it then provides immune protection for the offspring of the worker bees, okay? So... Um, Tauzer, T-A-U-Z-R, A-P-A-I-R-E-S, owner of Trevor Tauzer, um, a board member of the California State Beekeepers Association, said, uh, this is an exciting step forward for beekeepers as we rely on antibiotic treatment that has lim limited effectiveness and requires lots of time and energy to apply to their hives. They said that if we can imprint, if they can prevent an infection in our hives, we can avoid costly treatments and focus our energy on other important elements of keeping our bees healthy. And um, uh, uh, Oregon State University professor uh, Ramesh, R-A-M-E-S-H-S-A-G-I-L-I, uh, said he was a uh, he, she, whatever Ramesh is, uh, is keen to see how the immunity would hold up in the long term for the bees, meaning, you know, this right now is not for the bees that are alive, but it's for offspring and bees that are coming. But, you know, will 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 the bees that are born with this immune protection pass it on? I I think maybe it is what he's getting at there. That, that's how I, that's at least one thing I thought of. So uh, here's the Smithsonian article. And, and it says it could be a game changer for beekeepers fighting American fowl brood, a disease that can wipe out entire colonies. And, you know, these articles have a lot of the same information with a few little different tidbits. And 
Uh, one additional tidbit here is that Annette Kessler, K-E-K-L-E-I-S-E-R, CEO of the Delon Animal Health that just did this vaccine, um, says, our vaccine is a breakthrough in protecting honeybees. We are ready to change how we care for insects, impacting food production on a global scale. And it says that according to the company, which must be that D-A-L-A-N, the vaccine is not genetically modified and can be used in organic farming. So the Smithsonian article says the uh, Federal Agricultural Agency, the USDA, I, I guess, awards conditional licenses to products that meet an emergency situation, limited market, local situation or special circumstance. According to a USDA memo, uh, the USDA requires products that receive these type of licenses to be pure and safe and have a reasonable expectation of efficacy per the agency. Uh, generally, these licenses come with restrictions and cover a limited period of time. Once that period ends, the agency evaluates the product's effectiveness to determine whether to renew the conditional license or award a regular product license or, um, or not allow it to continue, maybe should be a third. <laughs> so this, this right here just says it's either going to renew it or give it a regular product license, not determine that we just shouldn't even be doing it anymore. But, uh, uh, you know, if you think about it, there should probably be a third R or O-R right there. That or we're just going to nix the program. And uh, this Guardian article says there is currently no cure for the disease, which in parts of the U.S. have been found in a quarter of hives, requiring bookkeepers um, beekeepers to destroy and burn any infected colonies and administer antibiotics to prevent further spread. It's something that beekeepers can easily recognize because it reduces the larvae to this brown goo that has a rancid stink to it. So, yeah, it's, it's not going to get by you. Uh, this article says American fowl brood originated in the U.S., and has since spread around the world. <laughs> um, it, but it also says here that the U.S. is unusually dependent upon managed honeybee colonies to prop up its food production, with hives routinely being tucked, trucked across the country to propagate everything from almonds to blueberries. So they move these hives around. Now that's something I didn't know. That's very interesting, but the U.S. is unusually dependent upon them. That's that's interesting. So this was covered a lot of places, and people like bee news, and bees are very important to us because, right, we, we do need them for food production, and this was covered a lot of places, so... We'll see if this remains for commercial bookkeeper, beekeepers, if this gets put out to the masses, or if this um, gets nixed, which wasn't even one of those ors, but should have been. So stay tuned, people.